Amazon is cutting Whole Foods prices for the third time since acquiring the grocer and the cuts will go into effect Wednesday and they're mostly focused on produce. Business in Vancouver's Haley Wooden is joining us now for more on this. So Haley, this is all about image and staying competitive? That's right. This is largely seen as Amazon responding to what its competitors are doing. And we have seen companies like Costco and Walmart cut their prices. So now starting Wednesday, we're going to see Amazon through Whole Foods cut prices by on average 20% for hundreds of products. This includes a heavy emphasis on produce, but we're also seeing discounts on things like meat and seafood, which can be quite costly, especially at a retailer like Whole Foods. It's also a way for Amazon to try and push prime membership sales going to be offering cash back to anyone who signs up for a Prime membership through Whole Foods. It's also doubling the number of deals it offers exclusively to Prime members. And it's even updated Alexa so that you can verbally with your smart home device make orders, add items to your grocery list and have them ready for pickup at a Whole Foods location. Wow, a lot more people going with that online grocery shopping trend. So we've all heard appeals to be conscious consumers of food and products, but the same goes for what we consume online. And a new change at Facebook is aiming to help people do that. So what is this new feature? We're looking at a number of new things. One is a why am I seeing this feature? It will allow a user to click on a piece of content and get them to really understand why Facebook has chosen to show them that piece of content. We're also looking at a potential new news tab. This would highlight journalistic objective content, a clear response to Facebook's struggles with issues around fake news. It would reportedly be free for users, but Facebook's expected to actually potentially pay publishers for use of content. An interesting shift for Facebook Facebook that has previously said it's going to focus on content that comes from family and friends now looking to maybe provide more transparency and more information around third party content like journalism. Certainly a switch from what they've said before. Thanks so much. That is Business in Vancouver's Haley Wooden joining us this morning. Thank you.